Uh, whew. I'm back after a long break. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Money Ish Life, my money makers. I hope you guys are good because I am not good as always, unfortunately, but I will be good soon. Actually, this time I actually really will be good soon. Um, the background is different, somewhat not, somewhat cool, somewhat, you know, the new me. I don't know. Um, I have been MIA. My birthday month of July was completely traumatic. Um, just a lot was going on with like my entire life from my personal to my financial to my relationships um and to be honest i've been completely losing my shit for the most part um and i couldn't edit i was going through a weird weird phase i even like donated my eggs like in june and um that videos <clears throat> that videos are coming up soon i actually like recorded and vlogged everything i just gotta edit it and i'm probably gonna have to um do like an explanation type shit thing i don't know but i'll do that for you guys um as soon as i can i just want to do like an update video for you guys so that you guys don't feel like i'm neg neglecting you guys because i'm not and like to be honest i did miss talking to someone to be honest because i've been feeling super 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 alone like i won't lie this past three months has been completely lonely in a lot of ways um as you guys know i don't really talk to people i struggle to let people in and i struggle to have conversations with people to like actually express myself and those past three months i've been completely alone i've been feeling so lonely um even when i'm with people i feel so fucked up like i don't feel good um the one person i was depending most on actually just stopped caring i think um my feelings just felt like super invalid and it's sad because now like because of built up pain and built up emotion i had to somewhat let go of that relationship um which is tough um yeah which is kind of tough like it's super tough having to let go of relationships and i feel like that has been my struggle all my life but i don't think i'd need to ever let go of my mother <laughs> it even feels weird saying that shit um but yeah like she's always been my biggest support and feeling as if i was losing her and her not caring that i was feeling that way just makes me feel as if i cared more about our relationship than anyone but i'll get deeper into that like once time goes by um I miss my brothers. I've moved out and the annoyance of the existence is actually quite missed. <laughs> I am okay with being alone in my apartment for the most part. I have a roommate, but I'm okay with being alone. But like, I don't like being alone alone, like in the sense of um, not having anyone to just call or text or you know, it just feels super weird. Um, but I feel super numb also. Like today I've been feeling super numb because I've been on and off with the love of my life. Um, and it's like at a weird stage right now where I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of shit going on in my life, to be honest. I celebrated my birthday and it was quite beautiful to be honest like it was really really nice um i had a really good birthday i felt like a kid and i appreciated 
that feeling like i i honestly feel super old so being able to feel like a kid again like just meant everything and my baby sister will be born next month which is super weird because i always wanted a sister and like now i'm getting a sister in the weirdest way ever and i'm super old to be getting a sister like i should be having babies right now not my dad you know but um i'm having a sister next year next month and yeah i don't know how to feel about that a lot of shit has been going on in my life i am back in contact with my dad surprisingly guys like i'm so shocked um but we're not close like i still basically have no parents now like it's weird i have parents that are alive but like i don't have parents it's weird so it's a weird it's a weird situation like i i'm grateful that i don't need them and i'm able to depend on myself thank god um and i make dua that everything becomes calm or peaceful or civil you know but for now i just need my space and i'll figure it out as it comes but yeah i'll figure it out as it comes but it just feels weird like i didn't expect my year to switch up as much as it did but i'm so grateful for the growth because throughout all of the changes and all the weird things that has happened i am somewhat still alive which is surprising because that's the one thing i didn't want <laughs> um yeah uh i was in some legal shit <laughs> two legal shit two legal situations actually um the one is financial which i'm gonna go in depth one day with you guys once i figure out how to actually put it into words and the second one was because of gbv can you guys believe it me <laughs> can you believe it i'm gonna make a youtube video about it i'm just waiting for everything to like get situated and then i will definitely make that ready for you guys because the story time is gonna be super super weird like you guys deserve that story time i promise you like i i was like super stressed so i want you guys to know that story and um yeah i have been working a lot more which is actually been helping me survive because living on your own and doing shit on your own is quite difficult but to be honest i don't think i really realize how much i was spending either way you know whether i was at home or not um well my previous home or not i got my own home now weird um and then yeah what else can i tell you guys i feel like there was so much to tell you but like you know when there's just so much to talk about and you lose like track of everything that actually happened um but i'm definitely going to be continuing my abortion situation stories i feel as if there's a lot more to talk about and a lot of help i can share because a lot of girls were actually really 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 thankful for me making that video and i'm thankful that i was able to be of help to even one person which it wasn't even one person which is even um I know it's not the best type of situation to put out there and like expose my life like that but if it helps I don't really care as long as I so much to protect myself. I feel like um me having this somewhat of a break from YouTube has been completely helpful. Um has been completely needed I think like it was super needed because a lot of weird as weird things has been happening and i don't know how i was going to be coping going to be able to cope on youtube to be honest like i burnt all over my flipping body like can you guys see like what the flip um but i know i'll, I'll be able to get rid of it like i know i'll have good skin soon again um but yeah this is just a i'm um, back video again but this one isn't as bad i guess because it was only like a um, two months break fuck time goes so fast two months break but i have so much videos that i'm gonna start editing once i am situated completely i am somewhat situated so i think i'll be able to start editing and i will not be working 
much this week um besides my nine to five so i will ensure that youtube will be one of my priorities so that you guys can actually um be happy that you guys are subscribed to me um yeah i am okay i am alive and i'm thankful for the people who are concerned about me wondering what's going on what's happening i'm alive uh, fortunately i should say because throughout everything that has happened my mind has still been the biggest fight um i do have the thoughts but not as much and i think it's also mainly because i haven't been taking my medication as often as i should be as well as not um doing as much therapy and D ddm DT ddb yeah ddb behaviors yeah ddb i think i'm gonna correct myself if i'm wrong to assist me like with controlling um my emotions are a lot better as well as learning how to be basically a better person like be better um able to love because like when you struggle with depression anxiety and lots of like mood swings and stuff it's difficult to basically survive as a normal human being which is weird but yeah um but yeah just a lot of update you guys and tell you guys that you know what sometimes it's okay to be alone like it's super super okay to be alone and me like basically being forced in the situation to be alone has been completely helpful towards my growth because since last year like i've been saying i want to move on and move on and move and then like being pushed to move has actually helped me a lot um but yeah we have a lot of story times about a lot of things that has been happening a lot of videos of updates of things that's happening but i will be definitely posting the egg donation process next um just because um i want to get it out of the way and i've got like content already on my phone that i need to edit and then going forward you'll be getting all the updates because you guys deserve it but yeah just keep on sharing keep on subscribing keep on liking commenting even if you have to go rewatch old videos please do like i appreciate every viewer whether you watch it 10 times five times or even one time i appreciate it a lot um it actually felt really good speaking to you guys uh it was like a short talk conversation between you but um i'm actually really thankful that i could have this opportunity to guys speak to you guys i promise you guys i have been looking a lot better it's only today because i'm actually really exhausted and i just randomly decided to speak to you guys because i actually did my hair like i just blew it out so i decided ah oh, you know i look kind of decent even though i'm exhausted like can you see my eyes and my hormones are all over the place so i'm breaking out so bad but yeah um i've been looking good so don't don't think damn she looks amazing she's amazed i am amazed like my mind is super amazed but i'm okay like maybe i'm just lying to myself but you know they say you lie to yourself while doing the work and that is actually true don't lie to yourself and not do the work and expect it to become true like that's impossible so like lie to yourself and do the work and then you can actually be okay am i making sense oh i'm making sense anyway that was it i hope you guys are happy that you guys could see my beautiful face and say subscribe my lovely money makers and i hope you guys are making money because we are money makers because I love you guys.